everybody it's your girl Risa Fleur and today I'm coming to show you how I did this look today <laughs> it's a get ready with me we about to go out sis we about to turn up sis <laughs> um this is a cut crease look with a dark lip very full some cute booties I'll show that in the video as well here so you can see my shoes mad cute mad cute look at me mad cute <laughs> but yeah we about to go out so i don't want to talk too much because you know a girl is always late and we don't see me time or whatever but if you want to see how i got this look with this cut crease eyeshadow and this dark full lip go ahead and continue watching but I want you to go ahead and subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications so anytime that I post, you know about it, and then I want you to go ahead and thumbs up this video, okay? 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 <laughs> Alright, y'all. See y'all in my next one. Mwah. Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it. Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high. Y'all know the drill. Let me take a sip of that little lime Rita. My brows are already done, and I'm taking my favorite Juvia's palette. Um, and I'm going to go in with the orange color, and I'm just going to use that as my base. One thing I will say about me, no matter how much makeup I have, I get attached to certain things. Like, I will use the same shit over and over until it's gone. I don't know why I do that, it, but I just do it. So I'm just going in and I'm adding in the Sokoto color, which is like the redder orange color. And that's what I'm doing right now. And now I'm going in with the black and I'm just going to add that on my outer V and kind of bring that in. I don't want it to be too dark because I am going to cut the crease as I said and I don't want too much black in it. I just wanted to add some definition behind that cut crease. So again, this is one of my favorite palettes. I'm going to use this shit to the ground. Like, I don't know why I do that. Like with all the shit that I have, I still use the same thing over and over. So now I'm taking my Boo Boo Cover Up Concealer, which I've only usually used for my eyeshadow. And I'm just going to go ahead and start cutting that crease. Now when I cut crease, I take my sweet time. My eyelids are very hooded. Very hooded. And I do not want to blink or anything like that because it's possible that I will mess it up. So I take my very sweet time doing this. And keep in mind, when it comes to makeup, it can always wipe off. It's no need to stress. So I went ahead and did the other eye, and I added that light brown color or beige color to my lid. That's the color that I want my lid to be. Um, I didn't want my eyes to be too, too crazy. Now I'm taking my NYX liquid liner, and I'm go a glitter liner, excuse me, and I'm going over that little crease there to give that some definition. So like I was saying before, when you have a hooded eye, you have to really make that cut really high because if not, you're not going to be able to see it. Everything else is going to be in your little fold, in your little hoodie. It's going to be hidden there. So. I'm taking another drink. Now I'm using my um, Black Radiance HD Nude Primer. Something else that I really love. It does really good on my skin, so I keep loving it. My other favorite one is Becca and um, my Smashbox Primer. And I'm using my uh, Maybelline Super Stay 24 Hour Stay Foundation. And I'm just using the ends, a, a, blind, a blender, a makeup sponge, whatever you guys want to call it. And I'm just patting in that foundation and making sure that that is going down to my neck as well because you don't want that jawline to show anything on your neck like you it looks funny like it'll just have a stop if you don't bring it down to your neck 
especially if you a thick girl and you got a little bit of you know a little bit of chin meat <laughs> you don't want that to it don't look good so I went in with my concealer from LA girl in the color toast and I'm just rubbing that in patting that in with my silly faces like I said, I get attached to something. I usually do not use something else for a while. <laughs> so I'm taking my LA Girl Concealer. Um, in the, I don't know what color that is. I feel like it's mahogany. And I'm just going to take my Morphe Blender, Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to dab that in. As you can see, I don't make it, I don't bring it all the way down to my, my, my lips. It's crazy. Now I'm using my Black Radiance um, Setting Powder. I usually use the Banana... Um, Banai banana powder, but for some reason this powder, I love this powder. I've been addicted to it And I hate to sound like a broken record, but once I use something and I love it, I get attached <laughs> So now I'm using my Kajal, I think that's how you pronounce it, Black Radiance Liner Gel Liner and I'm just Going in on my eyes and I'm trying to actually make sure that color is on my eyes. I'm kind of layering that I've said before, I don't know if you guys I do not like eyeliner. I actually hate it. I hate doing it. I hate, I don't know. I get that as part of the, the whole vibes, so I do it, but I do not like it. I never get it even. I never get it right. We're not perfect. We're all humans. I'm not a perfectionist. I try to be, but I'm not. <laughs> So now I am going in with my Black Radiance Contour Palette and I'm just going to contour with some powder there. Now I'm using my Black Radiance um, Artisan Blush and I'm going in with that. And I'm taking my Morphe Setting Spray and I'm going to set my face, put my lashes on. Now I'm using my Morphe uh, highlighter in the color Mirage. I'm just going to go ahead and highlight. Ooh, love this highlighter. Look at that. Also highlighting on my brow bone. Very subtle. I don't want that to be too crazy. Now I'm taking that same orange that I used as the first color. I'm just taking that under my eye. Just to kind of complete that eye look and make it all come together. Now I'm putting some gold eyeshadow in the corners of my eye. And now I'm taking my Tarte Mascara and I am just going on my underlash. This is going to help my eyes look up. A lot bigger I love the fact that um, I love the idea of my eyes looking bigger because I have like really small almond shaped eyes so I love opening my eyes more look the highlight the highlight is like really impeccable so now I'm going in with my uh, MAC lipstick in antique velvet and I'm just going to put that all over my lips because I want this dark fall lip Yes, and now I'm dressed. <laughs> oh, step it up, sis. I really hope you enjoy this. You can see that I, honey, I'm loving this look. I'm headed out. We're going to have a good old time. Okay. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and thumbs up this video. Today while I'm not buying it